What's up everyone, um, Ice Cubes here. Today I'm going to be teaching you colour correction and no light factory. I've already had this tutorial ruined twice by people. Just, duh, people. Okay, so let's get this one on with and hopefully nothing will happen to mm. stop it. Alright, first you're going to want to import your clip. I've got it here. Look, nothing has been done to it. I'll prove it by showing filters, nothing. No motions being altered, it's all clean. So first you're going to want to open that up and then you're going to go to one, you'll see this normally, just go into your effects tab, go into video filters and color correction and drag this color correction into this. To drag it in you must double click this clip. And then you'll see color corrector that pops up on here. I'll show you what I normally do. I normally bring up the whites quite a bit because it makes it stand out. You want to get some nice white shown and you want to bring down the darkness a bit as well as the mids. May bring the whiteness up a bit more as this is really standing out up here and I'll probably show you how to do a no light. I may have already said that. I may be showing you how to do it but I probably will show you how to do it now. Probably stick a no light right in there to bring out a nice light flare effect of that light. So normally I just pretty much do that with these, obviously I'm not going to spend hours doing it with you to get it absolutely perfect by adjusting it everyone, but I'll explain what they do. Whites are obviously a white colour such as this, your gun white here, as you can see it's making it stand out more and more at the top. So I'm going to leave that around there for now. Mids are just your middle colours, but I'd say probably these greens and stuff here, yeah, it's making those darker. And if you wanted a nighttime effect, I guess you could do something, I don't know, around there. But I normally just leave that a very little bit on this, it just makes them darken out a little bit. And blacks, obviously, I don't want it too dark because it's not easy to see the screen, but I'll leave it somewhere around there. Saturation, I never mess around with that because it's just shit pretty much. And it takes away of colour, unless you're going for that effect or makes all your colour pastely and I don't like that, I like my colour sharp, yeah. So that's pretty much that, and then you've got the wheels up here, hue I never really use that, as you can see it's making all the colours sort of go strange, I think it's blue, red and something, it's just like colour channels, it makes them all go different and stuff, never really looked into it too much, but sometimes I guess it looks cool if you've got the right clip, like if you're going for a spacey look or something around that, maybe a special montage you're doing, like you've got the green dot site and stuff, but I'll rarely use it. I may like just bring it to there for colours to pop out a little bit extra, but I never really touch that. This is the main one I touch, and today I normally go for a, around a colour around here just because it makes it seem more realistic and real looking but today I'm gonna go for a sort of yellowy orange colour because I want this to stand out a bit more so I'm gonna put in a no light and I'm gonna make that colour orange just to make it look a bit more outstanding so when you've done that I'm gonna do a no light now and after you download it and install it and do whatever you can find videos on how to get it and you can also buy it I recommend buying it because it is worth it and the company did make it but obviously I didn't buy it so yeah yeah so drag that into your filters remember double click this just again just to make sure you are on the video before you drag it in and you'll see no light comes up here these are mainly all your options and you've got all your flare types such as that and that and that etc but today I'm going to use sunset I just saw it a minute ago and that's probably gonna take me forever to front no, but I've got it. It's all good. And normal default colour is white, but today let's go for a yellowy something just to make it a bit more well, I don't know. And I'm gonna make this 90 something because I did it on this one here. That one I'm gonna show you after I've keyframed it and everything just to show a bit of difference and yeah. So that's pretty much that. I'm just going to go through these. This is obviously a brightness. Not very hard to realise what it does. Scale. Just increases the scale of it. Pretty simple. I would say. You can obviously edit these by just typing in the one you want. 
and light source location you have to click the little button there and then drag it around and I'm afraid every time you let go you have to re-click it I know it's annoying I wish it didn't happen but yeah it has to be done and I never really touched these maybe one day I will have a look at them but today I'm not maybe I am and that didn't do anything so good so I didn't really know what they do anyway so let's go for this and let's start off at the start just try and keyframe it up here is where the main light source is so drag this over to here to start your video off this is if you have this clip you'll obviously be doing it on yours your light source may be there or down here I don't know where it is but then you want to keyframe it these are your keyframe buttons I'm gonna do keyframe brightness and light source because it's just something I always do because there may be times where you can't, uh, how do you say it, can't be seeing the light such as you are facing the floor, you may not be actually in view of the light there, so you may want to bring the brightness all the way down and not see it, so yeah, just leave it anywhere around there. I'm going to jump through a few frames and I'm going to drag this to here. It should start keyframing automatically as you can see it here on light source location. Going to go through a few more, it seems pretty good, don't know why it's gone green, but here, as you can see, the light source should be there. And if you scroll back through, you may just want to move it, I'm doing this very roughly, I would normally, if I'm editing a montage or something, do this frame by frame, and you can do that by just tapping your arrow key forward, and it, as you can see, mine's jumping frame by frame. <laughs> And you see all the bullets coming out, so yeah, it's definitely doing it. Sorry about that. And I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, that's still fine. And keep going, keep going. As you can see here, you don't want that to be there. So I'm just going to jump back a few frames because it seemed to be in an okay position. Just going to hit the keyframe button here to make a keyframe happen. You have to do that before you move. I'm just going to jump through a few frames make sure that is still on the main source of light that we want to be having on and here you got to think realistically that the light source was over here so I'm gonna drag this all the way up here because the light should still be coming through and I normally would just put a keyframe somewhere like that for the brightness and then here just make it a little bit more brighter just something like that just because it makes the screen look a bit cool or something around that and I actually do a 360 here but I'm not gonna keyframe that because we could be here all day with me doing that and that's pretty much it for color correction and all that and I'm gonna show you one right now that I made before and this is it right here as you can see it's moving a bit out I haven't keyframed it perfectly but it's not looking too bad Yes, alright, and as you can see the brightness goes off here or else it would be if I was in here and the brightness was still all the way up it would look like that and that just looks stupid. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you subscribe, I'm going to do another tutorial actually right now but I'm not sure what on because I want to get some videos out as I haven't had some in a while but cheers for sticking with me and almost 40 subscribers, pretty happy about that. Thank you very much.